Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I've just gone really barefaced. I've got no makeup on because it is so hot and I'm so excited for this video. I am filming a huge summer haul. Like it is like honestly it's crazy big. Um well no, it's probably not even that big to some people, but you know, I've been collecting this stuff for not collecting saving this stuff for a while and I've just seen something over there that needs to be in my haul. Building it up so I can do a huge summer haul. So here I am, I've got some clothes, some shoes, um, some little makeup bits but not a lot. So yeah, I'm just going to get on with the video because I'm aware this is going to be probably really long. Um, I'd also like to point out that I would have loved for this to be on a try on haul. I cannot be bothered to film all the separate clips like yes I know I have all this time but it's just too hot to keep so anyway let's just get on with the haul so I've kind of separated it up so it's like not as randomly took together so I'm gonna start off with like the first little pile I have and it's like pajamas slash like sweats because I always pick up pyjamas when I'm in Primark. Always, 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 always. Primark pyjamas are my favourite pyjamas. Um, the majority of my pyjama box is Primark. So I'm going to start off. So I thought I wanted like a nice dressing gown for summer and for spring, which wasn't really heavy. It wasn't really warm. Um, you, you know, like, so it wasn't like your average dressing gown. So I got this like gorgeous robe in this gorgeous pattern with these like really flowy sleeves from Primark and it was in like the um laundry section should we call it um but yeah I just really like it it's like the softest material ever it's perfect for summer and I really like the pattern as well so when I saw this I was like I've got to get this because I went in looking for like a light robe that I could wear in the summer and when I saw this I was like ah oh, my prayers have been answered. So that's the first thing, not the first thing, that is one of the things I picked up. As for pajama, uh, for pajamas, I was looking for like some plain tops that I could wear with like different pajama shorts that I've been picking up recently so I got two different sets of or two different types of like pyjama shorts so I got these ones, these are like I don't know how to describe them but they're this pattern um, I love uh, Primark pyjama shorts and I also got these um, which is like a palm pattern on like a cobalt blue with like little neon pink kind of around the edge I don't know how to describe colours but yeah Picked up two pairs of pyjama shorts, always get pyjama shorts, always, 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 they are like the comfiest thing on earth. And to go with that, I just picked up two plain, um, like, pyjama tops, and they've just got this little, like, lace detailing, lace frill, like, all the way around the arms and the neck. And yeah, I just thought these will be great for summer, because I'm just too hot to sleep in anything else. I also picked up two sports bras because um, I went in just before I went on DOV so it was a few weeks ago now and I needed some sports bras for DOV. Um, yeah basically just any excuse because I find these super comfortable just to wear when I'm not really doing that much. This one's inside out. Orange neon one. Um, yeah, there's not really too much to say about it. Oops. And I also got a the same pattern but in a pink one. So yeah, that's that's them. Like I don't know what else I can say about them. And then I saw the jumpers and I was like, wouldn't it be so nice just that I can have a jumper that I can take on holiday with me that's lightweight but it's nice and it will go with nearly everything I wear just if I get cold that I can just pull it on over me in the summer evenings so I got Montana's Best Rodeo West um, this jumper that I can just throw on on the summer evenings 
an airplane going by. Sorry if you can hear loads of background noises. Again, my windows are open. Next, I'm going to go on to tops and dresses, I think. So first of all, I got this dress, and I just thought it'd be easier to wear this rather than to show it. So it's like this Barda, Barda, I don't know, um, dress that's like black and white pinstripe with like these flowers on. I'll just stand up because I've got it on. It looks like this. But yeah, I just find it super, super pretty and I picked this up and it was only six pounds, which is an absolute steal. So I was like, this is going to be perfect for summer and if I go to Spain this year. Uh, tops, so I'm just going to stick with dresses whilst I'm on dresses. I just picked up this long plain black dress from Primark. How much was this? This was also six pounds. It's just like a long black dress. I thought, you know what, it's perfect for traveling or wearing during the day. So yeah, there's not really a lot you can say about a plain, plain black dress, but there you go. Um, then this isn't from Primark, this is from New Look. I bought this bodysuit, which I absolutely love. I've already worn it a few times. It's just this cream colour with these pink flowers on. It's really pretty. Um, but yeah, I really like this bodysuit. So yeah, it's going to be really nice. And it's really flowy as well, so I don't get like ridiculously hot in it. And then I'll carry on with Primark, so I feel like I'm jumping around a lot. Um, I picked up this like cami kind of top. It's button at the front and it's got a little ties and it's just black with post dots and daisy prints and I thought this would be so cute with some black shorts in the summer or yeah just with my black high waisted shorts that I got from Primark last year so yeah I picked that up and it fits like a dream like it is so so nice to wear and then I got this like beach cover up it's like a shirt dress says it's a 16 it's actually a 14 which really confused me but I can't be bothered to take it back and I've also thrown this receipt away because this comes up quite tight um but yeah it'll be fine for the beach and it's just got this little rope tie so yeah just a little beach cover up they also do this in white uh but I picked up the blue one because I can just see me getting a white one absolutely filthy and then from ASOS, I've got this um, t-shirt by Boohoo, and it just says J'adore on it. And if you can see any blue on it, just ignore that. I wore it to a party and there was colour run, and the blue hasn't quite come out. So hopefully it will come out with the next wash. But yeah, it's just this plain white t-shirt with the red J'adore on it. And there's the blue from the colour run. But yeah, I'm in love with this t-shirt. It's so comfortable. So that pretty much covers it for clothing. I've just got a few bottoms to show you guys. First of all, I'm going to start off with what's not from uh, Primark. Otherwise I feel like I'm going to confuse everybody. So it's just this black ripped hem uh, like mini skirt. And yeah. It's like a black raw hem mini skirt, I think it's called. But this is from Misguided, and I just thought this would be so nice for summer because I've been after a denim skirt for a while. Um, but I got a black denim one. So yeah, here's the skirt. And then I've picked up some jeans, which is like rather unlike me because I don't wear jeans, but. You know, it's going to take some time getting used to. I probably won't wear them all that much in the summer, but definitely for winter because mine have started to rip because I prime up jeans, jeggings are so comfortable. I wear them all the time. So I got some grey ones. This is a bit of a different colour for me. They're also not high-waisted, which is also really different for me. No rips because I don't really get on with rips as much as I like them. And then I just got some plain black ones because 
my black ones have faded so much because I wear them so much so they are practically grey now so I just picked up some new black ones and then I also have got some light um, washed blue ones like really light I bought some of these last year and the zip um, like ripped a hole in the bottom of the leg so I've picked up some more. These are lighter than my ones last year, but I absolutely love wearing light jeans in the summer. I just think it's so pretty. Um, so I picked up some light wash jeans. And then I also bought some Aladdin trousers, as I call them. I don't really know what they're called. But yeah, but these are straight leg. They don't have the elastic at the bottom. So yeah, and they are also rather see-through. So I'm thinking maybe save these for the beach. And then on to shoes, I'm like a shoe hoarder ATM, um, so where do I start, where do I start, where do I start? I got some fake Vans from Primark, I went, these are really dirty so excuse this, I'm going to get some white laces rather than black ones but yeah, they are fake, yes I know they're fake, you don't need to tell me, I know bought some fake vans because I walked into Primark and these were £7 and I was like why would I go out forking nearly £60 for a pair of trainers when I can get like almost the exact style minus the vans logo for £7 so I got the £7 fake vans and you know what call me a fake call me whatever they are the comfiest shoes I've ever tried I'm sure vans are really comfy too but you know, I have just saved myself £53, so I'm not complaining. Anyway, there's my little shoe rant. I also picked up these, like, snake skin, um, this dress isn't sitting properly. Some snake skin, like, slip-on shoes, because I just thought, I just want something light and easy to wear in the summer that's not just flip-flops. So, got some of them. I do have both the shoes by the way, I'm just only showing one. <gasps> They've just got on my new clothes. <laughs> and then these aren't from Primark, these are from Avon. They are the new trainers that they are bringing out. And they look like this. They've got the uh, stripes on them, a little silver back. They are a bit like, or like a copy of, but not ex an exact copy of, like the Gucci ones. Obviously they look nothing like the Gucci ones, but you know, I think that's the vibe Avon was kind of going for. But these are so comfortable and yeah, I really, really do like these. Next I've got some flip flops. Every time you go into Primark, pick up some 90p flip flops because they are a lifesaver some of them don't last awfully great like they can like rip but you know what do you expect for 90p so i got these wide striped navy ones last year i bought like thin striped navy ones i've still got them um but this year i thought i'd go thick navy stripes so just picked up some navy stripe flip flops because Primark's 90p flip flops. I just, I'd recommend them to everyone. You know, they're 90p. What more do you want? And then I also went a little bit out there this year with um, the flip flops and I got some cherry ones. Quite wild for me. Normally I just get patterned or plain. When I say patterned, I mean like stripes or polka dots because obviously cherries patterned anyway got these one thing I would say though is the print does come off eventually like where you continue to wear them from your feet but I'm not too bothered because when you've got them on your feet hides the bit that rubs off so you can still see the rest of the print so I'm not complaining you know they're 90p flip-flops also got some more shoes from ASOS. These Toucan Wedge sandals they're called in like pink, but they're like a nudie pink. These are so comfortable to wear. They are so, so comfortable. And they give you like a bit of an extra height without being like a ridiculous stiletto heel. Um, yeah, I really do like these. And 
I just thought, you know what? Perfect for summer. Everything's perfect for summer right now. And then I also got some of these sandals because my sister has embellished sandals and they are the prettiest sandals I have ever seen. But, you know, she's nine, I'm 16. Like, I'm never going to find a pair like hers that are going to fit me. So, I went on ASOS and I found some. So, these are ASOS shoes, uh, like the two and Wedge ones were. And they've got like little ballerina ties, I'm going to call them, because you wrap them around your lower ankle. And they are embellished and they are so pretty. The only thing I'm slightly nervous about is the tan lines I'm going to get with these. But you know what? For such beautiful sandals, I can work with the tan lines. So yeah, these are the sandals that I picked up because taking inspiration from my sister like I do almost on the daily. I just found these absolutely gorgeous. So from ASOS, picked up these sunglasses. Right, I don't know how you say this. I'm saying Quay, but I've had heard people call them Key. But I say Quay. So they are the Quay Australia sunglasses. Um, and they are like this, they're like marbly round side, they're the cat eye ones. Yeah. I really, really like these sunglasses. They look a ton better with my hair down. Uh, but obviously my hair's up at the minute. But yeah, these are the... I'm saying Quay. But these are the Quay Australia... Um, ooh! Cat eye sunglasses. And I couldn't be happy with them. I really like them. I was in need of some new sunglasses. So I treated myself to a nice pair of sunglasses that I can call my own. Um, so yeah, and they were also reduced as well. With. Right, now on to beauty products, and this came this morning, well, some of it came this morning, but I'm so annoyed about because I'd already filmed, like, part of my skincare routine, and then the bit that I wanted to be in it came, but I couldn't risk not filming it because of time limits that I've got this week. Anyway, I'm going to start off with the, the item that's not from Beauty Bay. Um, this is from Primark, it is a, just a bag that says Sassy on it, it's like grey with pink, pink zip and gold, um, like, embellishment zip runner, whatever you want to call it. This says Sassy, it's not really my kind of, well, what am I saying, it is my kind of vibe, like, I love the colour scheme, it kind of reminds me of my room, because my room's very fuchsia and grey ATM um but sassy's not really my kind of thing but I can live with that because one this was four pounds and like the size of it is such a good size and that's purely why I bought it because I just thought this is the perfect size for all my skincare for holiday because it's either too big or too small like I've already got one that's going to fit my makeup perfectly and maybe if there's space left in it I will throw my makeup in here but this is the also the only makeup bag I found slash wash bag that fits my bigger eyeshadow palettes in so it fits the um Too Faced natural eyes palette in you know the new one that they their newest natural eyes one that they bought out the big one um it fits that and i was like hi yes finally a bag that fits that um but i just thought this was the perfect size for traveling so that's why i picked it up and then this is my order from beauty bay first of all they had a sale on so i was going through the sale i was like what can we find in the sale wasn't really looking for anything in particular i was just clicking on things that I like the look of and then reading the reviews for some of them and I found this the formula 1006 deep down de detox ultra cleansing mud mask with orange and bergamot I think is how you say it so this is just a deep um deep cleansing face uh mud mask and I read the reviews and like it sounds all right so I thought I'm going to try this for myself and for £5 if I like it when it's not on sale it's only £7 so I was like 
if this works, if this works, this is going to be my new favourite face mask. Also got a Zoeva brush, which was kind of like a do I, don't I kind of moment. But it is the um, 124 Grand Stippling brush. And it is such a chunky, like it's such a nice brush to hold. Like it's really big to hold. Like I don't know how to describe it. It's just such a nice like hold. I was like expecting this to be a bit bigger. But compared to all my other stippling brushes, this is the biggest head I've seen. And I want to try it with my foundation. Um, and if it works, then I can see this being my new favourite foundation brush. Because at the minute, I use a one from Real Techniques, which you would have seen um, in Wednesday's video just gone. Um because I used that to blend in my foundation but yeah I got a Zoeva one and I cannot wait to try it and I was going to do it this morning when the order came but I was like no because I want it to be clean for the video so I've yet to try this yet but I'm sure it'd be amazing because it feels so nice in my hand and then finally I'm so excited for this um I mentioned this in uh, my video at the beginning of the year that I want to sort out my skin, sort out my skincare routine and I want the toners, some toners but I wanted to try the Mario Badescu facial mist. Um, so I ordered them, they weren't in the sale, I just ordered the small ones, they were £7 and if I get on with them then I'll buy the bigger bottles which are £11. Um, but I didn't just order this one which I put in my video at the beginning of the year which is the aloe herbs and rose water one i bought all three and you're probably sat there thinking why well because i practically live on pinterest like i love pinterest and i saw a post that used all or like a pin that used all three mario badescu uh, sprays for different things for different reasons and it says use the aloe cucumber and green tea in the morning the rose water one to set your makeup and the aloe chamomile and lavender one at night time so I was like okay I'm going to try this like I'm excited for this so I've got all three Mario Badescu facial mists or facial sprays whatever you want to call them and I'm so excited to try them. I think that probably concludes my haul. It was like such a big haul for me. I don't think I've ever done such a big haul on my channel. I also felt like I spoke really fast on it and rushed through. But, you know, sorry. So, yeah, that is it for today's video. And I will see you all on Wednesday with a brand new video and yeah i've like haven't filmed in so long like i forgot how i start and end all my videos it's really annoying so i'm just gonna go now bye